Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Social Media Decoded Podcast, the number one podcast to help you understand social media better so that you get your business visible, so that you can reach more people, and so that you can monetize. And I'm excited today because we have a special guest. We are talking to Anne, and we're talking about a topic that we are we have never talked about on the Social Media Decoded Podcast, but we are going to talk about how to monetize your podcast, even if you have a small audience. So thank you so much, Anne, for coming on the Social Media Decoded podcast. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me, Michelle. I'm very excited to be here. Yes, I am so excited to get into this conversation. So excited to learn more about monetizing podcasts. So tell us more about yourself and how you got into podcasting. Yeah, um, So my name is Anne, like you said, Uh, I'm the founder of the Podcast Babes and at the Podcast Babes, we manage and monetize podcasts. Um, Now, when I started working uh, in podcasting, my business was was not called the Podcast Babes. It was completely different. I actually started as a freelancer, as a podcast manager. I worked with a few clients, um, realized that I am not the perfect podcast manager. Um, Podcast management has a lot of aspects to it like a lot of moving parts go into a podcast and while I'm good at some of them not all of them (laughs) so uh, I switched my business model around quite quite a bit Uh, the podcast babe is an agency uh, which means that we now have someone who edits the podcast someone else writes the show notes blog posts social media captions um, things like that And then another person schedules it, make sure everything is done on time, everything gets um, uploaded to hosting platforms, websites, things like that. Um, So now that I talk about it, it makes sense, right? Like it's very different skills. Um, So that is definitely something that I had to learn when I started freelancing as a podcast manager that I couldn't do it all. Um, So about a year and a half a year and a half ago, a year and a half ago, um, I launched the podcast babes um, as it is today. So yeah. Oh, I love that. And you are absolutely right. It takes a lot, everyone, anyone listening, it takes a lot to manage a podcast. I want everyone listening to know that Michelle has a team, the social media decoded podcast definitely has a team and shout out to the team for coordinating interviews, for editing the podcast, for helping with podcast descriptions, for creating the social media content. Thank you. Because this podcast would not be successful without my team. So thank you so much for saying that because I think that, you know, people don't really see a lot of the behind the scenes and what it goes, what goes into the production of a podcast. So that is very, very important. I'm so excited. That that sounds amazing what you do. And really creating the agency model, I think, is the best way to go for, you know, a lot of businesses. I have a social media and marketing agency. And like you, we, you know, help our clients with different projects and things. But now we have those people to help manage the projects because project management is like a huge part of everyone's business. So absolutely love, love, love that. So let's talk about... Um, starting a podcast. So what are some tips that you can provide for starting a podcast? Because I know it's like this platform, that platform, should it be long? Should it be short? What should I do? The art, the artwork, there's so many things. So what are some of your tips? Yeah, there are definitely a lot of things to consider when you're starting a podcast. I would say first very important thing is to make it realistic, make it possible for yourself. So For example, when I started my own podcast, um, the Podcast Babes podcast, I wanted to make it as easy as possible on myself. Um, So for me, that looked like solo episodes. I just wanted to hop on the mic, record an episode, 10 minutes. Uh, I could just do that in my own time. I could batch record it in one day if I wanted to. I didn't have to schedule anything with anyone. And honestly, it was also, it sounded really daunting to me to have interviews with people that I don't know and then all of a sudden like I have to be this podcast host and like I don't know know what I'm doing um so that was really daunting so I decided okay I'm gonna launch this podcast I'm just gonna start with solo episodes I'm gonna do a season and my season I think was 12 episodes the first season so that gives me a start and an end 
to this project it's not like okay from now on i'm gonna do weekly episodes forever because that was also something that was holding me back that i was like i don't know if i can do this forever <laughs> i don't know do i have time for this um so i decided okay it's gonna be a season gonna be mostly in um solo episodes and then i two interviews with people that i already knew that i or was already working with um so when you're starting a podcast, I think making it easy and simple for yourself makes it possible to just get started. The one thing that I hear so many podcasters say is, I wish I started sooner. I wish I started a year ago or two years ago or like way, way sooner. Um, so make that possible for yourself. And it you can have all these bells and whistles and, you know, you can you can overthink this for years and I have many clients who have been overthinking this for years and honestly including myself uh, I also had the idea of a podcast for a while before I actually took action but you can also make it really simple like if you don't have a mic okay cool then you start recording without without a microphone if you don't have time hire a team if you don't have money then okay then you edit it yourself you know there's a lot of different uh, ways to do it and I think in podcasting there's not a right and wrong way to do it uh, you can really make it your own you can have your own style and the most amazing thing is you can improve over time so it doesn't have to be perfect you can like everything that you that you said Michelle like the the cover art uh, the name of your podcast the format you can change everything you know, it lives on the internet, so you can change whatever you want. So there, of course, there is some work that goes into that and like yeah, new domain names and things like that. So you might not want to do that every single month. Um, but at some point, you just got to start. You just have to start, get going with a first season, with the first 10 episodes, I don't know. And then you can always improve along the way. So I, that is actually my main main tip for new podcasters. Oh, I love everything that you said. And every yes, I hope everyone was taking notes. You are absolutely right. I started this podcast two and a half years ago. And I was just, it was just on a whim. It's like, I want it. I wanted a different social, well, not social media, but digital outlet, a place for something that I wanted to create. I love social media and marketing. And I wanted to talk to other professionals like Anne, just like we're talking today about social media and marketing, how you can grow your online business, right? And so I said, I want to do short episodes. I'm doing short episodes my way, right? Just start. Don't be afraid. To, you know, what are people going to think? It doesn't matter. Like I put the podcast out, you just got to put it out. So I love that you said that that's like the best tip. So I hope everyone's taking notes. Just start and send us, let us know when you start the podcast, because it's going to be amazing. And yes, it's going to take time like anything else. It's going to take time to really, you know, develop and grow. But you got to be in it for the long run, really, if you want to be in this podcasting world. That is like one thing that I have learned, too. Um, you just have to keep going. So you all got this. Now we now we want to talk about, you know, money and things like that, too. So what are some things? when you first started your podcast that you wish that you may have done differently or would you do anything over or would you say, this is exactly how I want to start my podcast? Oh, I made so many mistakes. <laughs> uh, and I'm kind of glad that I did because that is also how I can talk about it now and uh, prevent other people from making the same mistakes. Um, I think it was very useful, especially in my role as founder of the Podcast Babes. Um, but yeah made many mistakes I think the main thing that I wish that I would have done different was I had this probably like I would call it an expectation of okay I'm gonna start this podcast people are gonna listen to it and then more and more and more people are gonna listen to it and it will just grow and it will be nice and linear and everything will be well and it will be better and better and that's that's how it goes well that's not what happened um and i think main reason for that is because my expectations were just not realistic what i see in my own podcast but also with with clients it, what's really normal is when you launch a podcast people are curious and they want to check it out so they listen to the first maybe the second maybe the third episode and then after a while it's not new anymore so some people maybe they're not that interested in the topic maybe they're not podcast listeners 
super weird i know like who's not a podcast listener but they exist um so then they don't listen to a new episode anymore it's really normal but as a podcaster you see that for the first few episodes you get x amount of downloads and then like download numbers go down and it's like oh no what am i doing wrong um and i i had this thought of okay well it's not working no one is listening and that was a thought that i had after like five episodes um so that's that's not a long that's not a long time you know people need time to catch on that what you're doing they need to find your things they need to get invested they need time to include your podcast in their routine um and i didn't really give my audience the little audience that i had i didn't give them the time to do that so i did not prioritize my podcast and life got busy and i thought okay i'll just take a break and then my break was longer and longer and longer and then months later i was like oh yeah i had this podcast um I know that this is really common. This happens to a lot of podcasters and it makes sense because before you see the real results from podcasting, I think you can have some like quick wins along the way. It's not like, okay, there's not, there's nothing until you're a year or two years in, but the real magic happens when you're more than one year into podcasting. So I totally agree with you, Michelle, that I think it is a long term thing that you're committing to and that you're signing yourself up for. So knowing that and having like really clear expectations um, is, I think, really important. And what I did to change that, to change my own mindset, was that I, I started to really enjoy the process of creating the podcast. So literally just creating the content. And by doing that, I it was it was irrelevant if people listened, if no one listened, it's fine because I get to talk to these amazing guests on my podcast. I can create this content, I can be super creative, I can do what I want, I can get my voice out there. And if people listen, cool. If no one listens, fine by me because at this point, that was not my goal. My goal was just to have fun while creating this podcast and then what happened over time is that eventually it started growing and more people learned about the podcast and more and more and more and it was a really slow but at one point also very steady growth um so that means that in the end like now i i won't won't call this the end (laughs) this is not the end um but eventually um i did gain an audience But the only way I did that was by just committing to show up over and over again and have so much fun. (laughs) So yeah, Yeah. main main tip there, I would say, is also commit and um, keep going. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Commit. That's the huge thing right there. We have to commit and we have to keep going because I had no clue how many people would listen thank you to all the listeners here to the podcast this is a, I'm, I'm being grateful because i don't like you said i didn't know in the beginning if anyone would listen this is just an idea that i had and it's like happening but you also have to believe that people will listen but you also have to promote we're going to talk about promoting in a, in a minute but i also want to talk about monetizing because that's a lot of a lot of people want to know you know can you monetize podcasts should you focus on growing your podcast or monetizing your podcast, or can we do both? And then, like, what are some ways that we can start to monetize our podcast, even if we have a small audience? And what what is even considered a small audience? I know that was a lot, but we're gonna we're gonna dissect it all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really important question, and I think it's also really good that we talk about monetization before uh, we talk about growing an audience, because I think I know that I'm like pretty much alone in this in this idea that um i think we should focus on monetization before we um, focus on growing growing an audience reason is if you cannot monetize a small audience you can also not monetize a large audience 
uh, of course, there are some ways that you can still earn money when you have a large audience and people just click links when there are more people there than more people click links, of course. Um, but I think if you are really serious about your podcast and about monetizing your podcast, then it makes sense to think about monetization really, really early on and also start testing things, uh, start setting things up so that when your audience grows, you already have revenues, a revenue stream from your podcast. So it will only grow with your audience. Um, and I also think that when you have a small audience, it's, it's easier to test things and to experiment, see what works, what doesn't work. You have less to lose. Um, so I highly encourage every podcaster to think about monetization before really focusing on growing your audience. Um, how to monetize a podcast? That could be a whole episode as well. You know, like there's a lot of ways you can monetize a podcast. Um, I think the first thing that comes to mind for many podcasters is working with sponsors. And that is one way to do it. You can also think about selling your services, selling pro digital products or physical products, uh, courses, eBooks are very popular to sell on podcast. Having a membership around your podcast, especially when you don't have a business podcast or anything, like if it's, if it's a podcast about a hobby, creating a membership around it or a community around it can be awesome. Um, and also a great way to monetize it. Um, you can also think about adding affiliate links to your episodes, to your show notes, blog posts, social media. Um, you can run events, you know, that's just some, some ideas. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Oh, those were some great tips. I hope, again, everyone was taking notes because... Um, Definitely some great tips shared there. And I'm excited because I am doing some of the things that you said. So I'm so glad that you gave those tips because affiliate links, I don't think we really understand. That can definitely work for podcasts, right? Because your affiliate link is always going to be there. And if this podcast and you're talking about a specific product and you're an affiliate, it's going to always live on. And you don't know how many people can listen to this podcast and listen to it again and again. And then you have those links right in your show notes. So definitely great ways um, and ideas that we can use to make money with our podcast, which is great because we want to monetize, right? So that is awesome. So this has been like a great episode about monetizing podcasts, why we should even continue to move forward with our podcast and why it's just important to keep going. I'm so grateful for you and for coming on today and really giving us some amazing information about growing our podcast and monetizing. I would love to, for you to let us know like where we can find you online, what you have going on. Maybe we want to sign up for something that you have so we can learn more about how to continue to grow our podcast. Yeah. Um, so you can go to the podcastbabes.com. Um, that's our website. You can find everything there. You can find what we offer. You can find links to our Instagram. It's at the podcast babes. So it's also not very difficult. Um, but I'm also... At the moment, I'm working on a new cool thing that will go on the website very, very soon. Maybe also already when this episode goes live, uh, probably um, it's a quiz where you can find out what your best podcast monetization strategy is. So all the things I mentioned, if you're like, okay, but what does that mean exactly for my podcast and for my situation, you can go to the website and take the quiz and um it will give you a result of which one of the strategies would be good for you and then also where to start. So it also takes you through those first few steps um, to get that monetization strategy going. So I'm super excited about that one. I hope that that will be finished really soon so that you can take the quiz. And uh, yeah, it would also be awesome to connect. Like if you listen to this episode and you found this really valuable, then uh, also feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. Always good to hear from you. And um, yeah, yeah, I think the website and then all the links there. Yes, and we will definitely have everything in the show notes. I hope by the time of this episode, make sure to check the show notes for that quiz link because that sounds amazing and will help so many people. Thank you so much, Anne, for sharing all your amazing knowledge. Don't forget everyone to check the show notes for that quiz because I know that 
we need help when it comes to monetizing our podcast. So thank you so much, Anne. Thank you for having me, Michelle. This was awesome. <laughs>